Hey everyone, so today we'll be going over some yield adjustment recipe conversions. So when it comes to these yield adjustment recipes, the first thing you want to find is your working factor. So the formula for that is your PTP, your portions to prepare, and you divide that by 100. And that's how you get your working factor. So this first question number 18 it says fried chicken needs 65 pounds per 100 how much chicken is needed for 120 portions so again you always want to find your working factor first using this formula so your portions to prepare are says how much is needed for 120 portions to prepare so this is your number that you need 120 so that you're gonna have to divide the 120 by 100 to get your working factor which equals 1.20 so this is your working factor so that's your the first part to this problem so after you get your working factor you always have to multiply your working factor by your ingredient in this case it's the 65 pounds of fried chicken So you got your 120 times your 65 pounds of chicken. Oh my bad, 1.20 times your 65 pounds. So that is 1.20 times 65. That equals 78 pounds so don't forget make sure you label everything so that is your answer with the 78 pounds of fried chicken you can make your 120 portions that it's asking for so moving on to the next one So this next one it says minced beef calls for 18 pounds per 100 portions. You are told to make 437 portions. How much ground beef do you need? So again, the first thing you always want to do when it comes to these yield adjustment is find your working factor using this formula. So you're told to make 437 portions. So that would be your portions to prepare. So that number goes on top. 4, 3, 7 over 100 equals 4.37. So this is your working factor. So again, after you find your working factor, you have to multiply it by your ingredient. So we had 4.37 times says minced beef calls for 18 pounds per 100 portions so that is your ingredient your 18 pounds of minced beef so you multiply this by the 18 pounds and that is going to equal 78.66 pounds again don't forget to label all your all your stuff so we're trying to get this to its lowest unit so we can't leave it like this because of that decimal so its lowest unit when it comes to weights is ounces so we're trying to convert this into ounces so we have to block this number off and multiply your remainder by ounces in order to convert it to that so you have to multiply it by whatever is under it, which is 16 ounces. So we'll multiply this decimal by 16 ounces, which is equal to 10.56 ounces. Again, label everything. 
So we always have to block off your whole numbers. And again, we still got this decimal. So we have nothing under the ounces. This is the lowest you could go. So after you can't go any more down, you have to go to your decimal to fraction chart to determine where this dec decimal falls in between. So 0.56 falls in between these two right here. So it ends up being half. So 0.56 is, is the same thing as half an ounce. So your final answer to this problem is 78 pounds, 10 and a half ounces, 10 and a half ounces. So this is your answer to this.